Hey guys, I'm back again with uh, another tool. This one is the Sum Farm tool. This is the updated version uh, 1.3.3. So this latest version has all the latest Samsung FRP removal and also Android 10. You guys with Samsung phones, this one is a great tool for you. This is the new update, which is latest. So I'll be showing you and giving you a brief summary on uh, the new updates which have been included in the tool. So this tool is, has been tested and it's working pretty fine. So, so guys, this is the tool. When you launch the tool, this is the tool. So it, as you can see on the screen, uh, it's the Sam Farm tool version 1.3.3. So this is the latest version with all the Android based tool. So you guys, if you have uh, any software issues with uh, Samsung and uh, these are the tools for the downloader. So if you need the software flash tools, you can go ahead to click here. It will help you as in searching for all those latest tools. For example, if you need Apple or Samsung. And uh, if you need USB drivers, you'll go ahead to click on this tab. Uh, you'll go ahead to download for you all the USB drivers for Samsung phones. So if you need the, the FRP lock APK removers, uh, the Google Account Manager, as you can see, uh, starting from uh, version 6.0, coming to version 7.1, and uh, also version 9.0, then the latest one, uh, version 10. So this is the latest one. So you can go ahead to use this one, Google Account Manager, to remove the FPR lock in all these new uh, new updated versions of uh, OS for Samsung and uh, other related brands of phones. So uh, if you need uh, the developer settings app, you can also go ahead to launch the command here and uh, it will go ahead to do it for you guys. So these are some of the things uh, of the APKs and uh, the others all inclusive in this tool so for you samsung guys if you, if you want like an update of any of your device you can also go ahead to check the update from here for example you can go and search for the particular type of model of your phone and uh, highlight it then you go ahead to check for the update so these are some of the models as you can see them they are quite many so you can select the model of your choice depending on your phone. So after selecting the model of your choice, uh, as you can scroll through the list because the list is endless, if you want to use the option for typing still, you can also go ahead to type it. You can go ahead and type any model. For example, I'll show you. I'll show you this. You can type any model of your phone. For example, this one. Then I'll go ahead uh, to look for the region, depending on the region. Then I can go ahead to choose the region depending where you are, depending on, you can get to tell the region uh, when you go to the device, uh, about the device, then you go to that section where there is device name, model name, then software info, then you can scroll down, then you find uh, where your device is, uh, the region for its region. So you can go ahead and select that particular region and go ahead to work on it. For example, I'll use like this one. So you can go ahead like to check here for the update. So you can see it is connected. They are confirming. Please make sure everything is then. You can go ahead to install the micro, uh, Microsoft Visual Basic. Uh, 
if you don't have it then it will go ahead and install all the updates so this was uh, just an example I was trying to show you like an example of any model of the phone so yeah this is where you do it from guys so you can go ahead to check any uh, any particular model of your choice then you'll go ahead to work on it so if you want to um, bypass FRP lock you just click on uh, this tab you can use this tab when you use this tab you can go ahead in Android 10 you can use the Google Maps uh, you can also use YouTube and uh, you can also use uh, Galaxy Store according to the particular type of phone you are working on then when you command it here for example when you command it here it will go ahead it will go ahead to send the, the it will send the command then it will prompt your phone you must be connected on a wi-fi network as you can see for example here so there is no device attached to this PC, so you we won't get any any results. So, for example, here you just turn on the device and wait for it to start up completely. Then uh, activate Wi-Fi uh, wi on that device. Then you can press OK here. Then here it will be waiting as you connect to the USB cable. So there is no device attached to this PC. That's why I'm getting this error. So guys, this is the update. Kindly check it out. It's worth it and it's working, guys. Thank you for watching. We met in the next video. If you get any queries about the tool, you can always leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'll get back to you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.